First of all, I'd like to take, thank Lee Bellinger and Independent Living for donating the equipment, loaning the equipment, let us use it on field day, amateur field day here in uh, Mint Hill, North Carolina. This is, a, this is a nationwide test in the United States of emergency communication systems, primarily HF, to see how many contacts we can make and under what conditions we can make them, how primitive we can make them. Uh, amateur radio works when everything else fails. When nothing works, amateur does. They set up radio, two-way radio stations, string antennas uh, in the trees, just like they would in a, in a uh, weather emergency or something when all of the infrastructure has failed. And they can make contacts nationwide, worldwide, wherever they want to. And the object here is to see how many contacts you can make in many diverse locations as you can make it. Uh, which, again, in the case of infrastructure failure, power grid failure, cell phone failure, such as that, we still communicate and we're still able to get information out and in. Uh, the reason you hear no generators running is we're operating on solar power. And thanks to uh, Independent Living's product here, Power Whisperer, it's uh, very quiet, no noise, no fuel issues, no fire hazards, uh, and very quiet. Uh, Nobody knows we're here by a generator's noise giveaway. So we like the power. It's cheap, it's free, and it's very dependable. I think, yes, backup solar power to me is a much more practical application. It can sit for long periods of time of inactivity. The fuel going to the bad is not an issue. There's always sunlight during the daytime of some kind and some to some degree. But yes, I see solar power as a much more practical application than any fossil fueled uh, generators. This is the W4BFB Radio Club, uh, headquartered in Charlotte, North Carolina. Mecklenburg Amateur Radio Society is another one of our names. And we do this on an annual basis. We've been doing it for back in the 50s, if not earlier, probably in the late 40s. So it's an annual thing with us. It's a big deal with us. It's a big, not only is it a big communications event, families come out uh, and we have fun, food, we cook out here, we have good fellowship and good uh, social mixing. So we enjoy this very much every year. A lot of work, but it's a lot of fun.